And in business, the Central Bank of Nigeria has spoken against plans by MTN to charge their subscribers for unstructured supplementary service data access to banking services from October 21st. The governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Mr. Godwin Emifili, made the Apex Bank stand known on the sidelines of the just concluded World Bank IMF annual meeting in Washington on Sunday. MTN, in an SMS message to its subscribers, had said they, were, they would start charging users directly for USSD access to banking services effective from October 21. Clearly, the, clearing the air on the issue, the CBN governor said he held a meeting with them as well as the leading banks in Nigeria at Central Bank in Lagos, where a conclusion was made clarifying that the use of the USSD is a sunk cost, meaning that it is not an additional cost on the infrastructure of the telco company. But the telco companies disagreed, stating that it needed to be imposed. Meanwhile, the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Mrs. Zainab Ahmed, has confirmed that the $3 billion loan request for the expansion of the power transmission and distribution networks in the industry had finally been approved by the World Bank. The minister said this while addressing journalists on the outcome of Nigeria's participation at the annual meeting of the World Bank in an international monetary fund in Washington, D.C. According to her, the CBN the $3 billion World Bank loan for the past sector will be disbursed in four trenches of $750 million each, effective by 2020. The minister said they were briefed by the World Bank Group Country Past Sector Team on Nigeria for the past sector recovery program as they identified the imperative of solving two critical problems, which are operational efficiency and revamping the associated infrastructure in the past sector. According to her, the financing will cover the gap between the current tariff and the actual cost of generating electricity. Meanwhile, the federal government, in collaboration with international donor agencies, have earmarked over $1.61 billion for steady power supply across the country. A crude oil prices eased off on Monday with concerns about the global economic outlook and the impact on oil demand. Global benchmark Brent crude oil futures fell by 10 cents to $59.39 a barrel, while U.S. crude oil futures were down by 9 cents to $53.69 a barrel. Meanwhile, China's economy grew slower growth slowed to 6% year-on-year in the third quarter of 2019 and below its expected and below its expectation due to soft factory production and continued trade tension.